Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. It's Pastor Lori and I am uh, here to share with you some announcements of some things going on in the life of our church this week. I'm in my office this morning as we have just finished with our drive-in worship service and are getting ready to do our live stream here uh, maybe in just a few minutes when you're watching this video. Uh, so I have a few things I want to share with you about things that are going on in the life of our church right now. Uh, one of the things that we've been getting a lot of questions about is what is our plan for our next steps for gathering together in worship. We've had two Sundays of drive-in worship now, um, and as there's been more and more information shared by the governor about churches and buildings being allowed to reopen, we've been getting questions about what the stages are going to look like for our church. So the one of the things that I want to mention, something that our conference has been using, um, is our conference has continued to remind us of John Wesley's three general rules. And those three general rules were a basis of what it meant to live a life of faith. And in those three general rules, they are to first, do no harm, second, to do good, and then third was uh, to attend upon the ordinances of God or to keep the faith, to stay in love with God through the practices uh, of our spiritual disciplines and the likes. So one of the things that we've been reminded of uh, is the importance of doing no harm. Uh, so that's why, as you may have noticed, our conference seems to have stricter rules about gathering together than what you're hearing from the governor and the likes. It's this effort to do no harm, uh, to continue to uh, keep the priority being some of the safety and the welfare and concerns of others. So we invite you to continue to help us to do no harm uh, as we work on these things together. So with that in mind, our Healthy Church team has continued to meet and has continued to say, what does it look like for us to do no harm, to do good, and to stay in love with God as we continue to work on what it looks like for our church to reopen our facilities uh, as our church has never been closed. So uh, you may have read in Pastor John's e-communication this past week that our Healthy Church team at the most recent meeting has decided to have our first in-person service on July 5th. The hope is that that service is going to take place at 1130. Now, it's not just like everything goes 100% back to normal, uh, whatever our new normal uh, is going to have to be is going to look a little different than what it looked like before. So there are going to be some rules that are in place that are things that we have to do, and those come from our conference. Um, so some of the things I just want to highlight quickly to be a part of that is you're going to have to wear a face covering uh, to come and be a part of that service. That's a non-negotiable. So uh, you can wear any face covering. This is one of the masks that I have. This one came from Target. You could wear a bandana. There's a variety of things. They can be homemade. They don't have to be fancy, but everybody's going to have to wear a face covering. Additionally, we're going to take your temperature as soon as you arrive, and we uh, are going to require that you have a temperature that's less than 100.4 degrees. And so maybe you're wondering why. Why are we doing these things? Well, again, it goes back to this idea of do no harm. We're trying to do no harm. We're trying to protect ourselves and the people that are coming to be a part of our service. So we need you to join us in uh, on doing no harm together. Additionally, we're going to share more information about how to register. Our capacity is going to be more limited. We can't just fill up our building uh, to the max. We're going to continue to practice our social distancing uh, from one another in that way. So stay tuned. There's more information coming. If you have questions that you want answered, feel free to give me a call here at the church. Pastor John and I are happy to talk with you uh, about these and other things as we continue to wrestle with what next steps look like for continuing uh, to move forward. Because friends, the truth is, is we miss you. We really miss seeing you every Sunday. We miss having a full congregation gathered together. Um, I really miss getting to say good morning and shake hands and give hugs. I miss the conversations that we're able to have uh, by the coffee down at the Flame Cafe. Um, I really miss all of you. Uh, so we look forward to when we're able to gather back together safely in our best possible way. Additionally, we're continuing to work on other ways to stay connected while it's virtual. So one of the things I'm excited to share is that there's going to be a virtual VBS. So Betsy Smith, who's our family ministries director, has been hard at work on that and we'll be sharing more information. But if you have kiddos who are bummed about there not being a vacation Bible school option, know that virtual VBS is coming and we look forward to sharing that with you. Well, friends, I look forward to joining you for worship in just a few minutes. Bye-bye. <laughs>